Uh, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert videos here at Boat How To. Today we got a question from somebody who's wondering if in his lightning protection system whether he can use the engine and the propeller as the main path to ground. So what's your take on that Nigel? I mean it is for grounding it's often used, all right? Yeah uh, it's, it's, and it's been recommended in the past mm -hmm. uh, and the reason it's been recommended in the past because the surface area of a propeller mm -hmm. is generally uh, adequate to act as a grounding plane. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> okay. for, 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 so no, for, why is it? For a couple of different reasons. Um, first of all, I mean, if it's a sailboat especially, you've got the mast and then you've got the down conductor coming down from a lightning rod and, mm -hmm. and maybe you, you're using the mast if it's an aluminum mast and then you, you come down and then you've got to run a conductor horizontally mm -hmm. through the boat. Mm -hmm. So you have a 90 the degree bend. Well, and then you're running all the way through the boat. Mm -hmm. So uh, lightning doesn't like to go around corners. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a very distinct possibility of a side flash that goes directly to the water and blows a hole in the hull. Mm -hmm. But, but it, let's assume it doesn't and, and we're successful at, at routing the lightning through the boat. We get to the engine block and then from there we've got to get from the block to the propeller shaft and then to the propeller. Mm -hmm. uh, if that lightning current uh, has to find a path through uh, metal parts in the boat with with oil between them in the bearings and so on. Mm -hmm. The oil can boil, you can melt the bearings. I mean, you can do a lot of damage to the engine. If it's a modern engine with an electronic control unit, mm -hmm. you're almost certainly going to destroy the ECU, yeah. at which point the engine's dead in the water. Mm -hmm. And then half the time, there's not a very good electrical connection anyway mm -hmm. to the propeller shaft. Yeah. So through, you know, you've got multiple connections here. Uh, and you probably uh, have a damping plate or something yeah. in between. Uh, and um, so there's multiple... Uh, potential little mini mm -hmm. resistances in the circuit, which will then encourage side flashes and other problems. Mm -hmm. So oh, it's a terrible idea. Yeah. So what we need is we need a, the grounding plate needs to be basically vertically below the, the mast mm -hmm. and the lightning rod, mm -hmm. or as close as vertical as we can get it. Yeah. And then all the engine needs to be tied in, but, but we go down to the plate and then we tie everything in back mm -hmm. to that point and not the other way yeah. around. Yeah. So your main conductor, you definitely don't want to run it horizontally no. and also you don't want to run it through any engine or any no. sensitive equipment that might might get damaged. Yep. All right, well, thanks for your take on that, Nigel. If you want to learn about how you can actually protect your boat from lightning strikes, or at least as good as it gets, we have a whole module on lightning protection in our advanced marine electrics course at boathowto.com. So check that out and see you soon. And actually, uh, Jan, that um, module, we've got a significant amount of more information in there mm -hmm. than you can get out of the ABYC and the ISO mm -hmm. standards, yeah. uh, because there's been quite a lot of uh, development in the lightning protection world in the last few mm -hmm. years that hasn't yet found its way into the standards. Yeah, so one more reason to check out our course. <laughs> See you soon.